Okay, so we're off to do our first carrier mission. Alright, so as you can see, once you have the Valkyrie, the initial deployment is up to you, just as, it, just as if you were assaulting a base. So as you can see, we are in the bottom corner, so we're going to deploy one team facing that way and one team facing this way. So let's put the newbies over this way. shield over here. Now obviously the newbies are gonna have a tough time as they're not really properly equipped. They're lacking the weapons and the predator so I'm not expecting them to lead the charge. Alright. Okay, so it's some sort of farm. Now the good thing about these suits is that there's one. You don't need to turn around to see everything. So I think I'm just gonna kill that guy. one and there is also another benefit to these suits and that is flight so up you go things look clear so if we just yeah we see all the way all right so it looks like we're most more or less okay here. I still wouldn't want to stand too close as something could pop up over here but if something does pop up I'm sure Franconian and let's say Haresis will be able to handle it as well as a JCAM. But before we do that, let's make sure this side is actually clear. And I think I'll send XZ to handle this as he has the move. All right, so all of this is clear. All right, all of this is good actually. Alright, so let's bring XZ over here. You can jump over the fence next turn if necessary. And let's bring our newbies into position. They'll obviously struggle against anything that shoots back, but I think. They can handle one or maybe two enemies at a time. I mean, there is there are six of them, and three of them are equipped with mag weapons, so we should be okay. So let's bring Forgiven over here. And Llama Horse over here. And Gedirund. Maybe I could put him up up here next turn. But for now, let's just hide him. Alright. Okay, so finish over here, please. 
turn around. Gunman. Take cover back here for now. In case. Nah, you know what? Just get over here. It's fine. And Jay can come here, finish, crouch, and you turn this way. And if anything comes up, we'll just shred, we'll just shred it, and that's it. And I really wouldn't like you to reaction fire, though. It's unlikely that you will. All right. So there, yeah, of course. There should be four reapers. So we already got one. Right, let's have a look. It's probably. Ah, uh, okay. If we just move over here and just take off. Okay, so all of this is clear. Land and face that way. So I guess we can deploy our B team around here. Not too close though. This is as I think this is as far as we should go for now until we clear more of this area. So shotgun over here. Llama horse, get over here. And Gadiron can now take position on this thing, but let's first have a look what's in here. Alright, so we have a civilian with a heavy rifle. Heavy rifle obviously means can't fire back, so. Let's take it out. It's pressed, very good. Get back. Move out of Okay. Take off. Have a look. Let me let me think. So 30 mitigation, 40, 99. It's highly unlikely that Finnish would have been killed, but it was possible. So, bit of luck. And let's just have Franconian move to here. Just to... now what? Ah, I see. A rocket launcher. Perhaps... Your position is not the best. If you pull back to here... Can you shoot him? Yeah. So, 50 move, though. Quite expensive. You know what, complete your move. Make sure we're not facing Reapers. And then... How much to get back? I won't be able to explore what I wanted. If you move to here, you, you'll be able to throw a grenade. No Reapers, so just drop down. And grenade this guy. I don't think it'll suppress it, but we can use J can, for example, to move to here somewhere and perhaps burst fire. I'm not sure. I'll have to think about it. Alright, so with all of this more or less clear, perhaps Forgiven can also join us front as well as llama horse as no hmm, 
We should suppress him if we wanna do this. Who can do this? Harasses. I think nah you won't be able to. You know what just how much to get to here? 13. Just get back. It's fine, we'll handle it next turn. Just get back, so. <coughs> Alright, so. If you move to here, 57. How about here? 60. You should be able to throw another flashbang. And then that should suppress it. Ah, oh, damn. Well, I guess you'll be dropping your weapon. There we go. And it won't bother us. And now Forgiven can move to here. There you go, suppressed. Now only the officer is a threat. So let's leave Gadirum down for now, as obviously the officer will... Actually, the officer is pretty far off. I don't think... How far is 30? There's no way it can attack us. So it's over here, right? Yeah. But that thing is in the way. Right, maybe one of the guys in the back. So if we just turn this on, here's one. Oh, this is somewhat annoying. Perhaps a couple of steps forward will help. One step was enough, very good. So this isn't really all that useful as the ballistic won't deal much damage, but you know, why not? Actually, it was extremely useful and Gediron gets a kill. Well, this one was damaged by finish earlier, so... Alright, very good. And now, well... You know, actually... Your position isn't all that bad. Just wait here and he'll probably come to us. Alright, as for the rest of you, you, I suppose you could start moving to here. That should be safe. You guys can't move far anyway, so it's fine. Alright. That guy moved the quite a distance. Alright, I got no problem with this. Okay, let's find the officer. There it is. Now... What can we do? Well, this is more or less max range for us. So, if Finnish just moves somewhere over here, he shouldn't face reaction fire, at least not from him. Let's have Franconian just have a look. Ah, there's our zombie. No problem, we can take it out. And this was probably what spawned the zombie. Hmm. Alright, J can. Grab the baton. Whack it. Whack it. Whack it. 
captured. Alright. Now for this guy. Let's handle this one first. Suppressed. Alright, that, uh, that'll do. And you'll reload next turn. So if you just move to, say, here, are you able to open fire? No. How about here? Yes. And he's, yeah, he's too far to counter fire in any case. So maybe we can have Gadiron to take care of this guy. Actually, we don't want to kill it because, right, so, anyway, get over here. I see, alright, so that guy moved, and I'm okay with that, get over here and just burst fire. And get on the other side. Can you get back then? Yeah. And down it goes. There we go. Alright, so about this guy. Well, nothing about that guy, really. Just get out of the way. Let the sniper handle it. And down it goes. And now we just wait for the zombie to come closer or whatever the hell it's gonna do. It doesn't really matter. Right, sometimes you have to... Like so, alright. So let's just wait for it. No problem. And I suppose we could push Llama Horse further up. So, as well as our other guys, uh, to, no I don't want to stand there, come to here, Actually, wait, stop, 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 over here. Just in case there's something else out there. We really don't want to eat pla uh, plasma cannon. That would be bad. You guys are fine. And now we can just wait for that guy to come, actually. We don't want Narwhal to reaction fire. That would be bad as, it prob as she'd probably hit one of our guys. So let's just wait. You don't can reaction fire. Wow. That was an impressive miss. Alright, since we already captured one, no need to... Let's just get out of the way. So, that's number three. There should... No, wait. That's a zombie. So we only got two so far out of four. We should be careful. And let's put Franconian over here. Looks all right at a glance. Have a look inside. 
all good. Uh, it's it's fine. Just get over here, and you can come to here. Like so. All right, gunman, give me a kill. I see done. That's two kill. No wait, one kill for you. I'm not sure. Two kills, right. You got this one as well. Alright, finish, reload. Let's get moving. Forgiven. Have a peek. Alright, so there's the ship. I'm probably gonna have to take a couple of screenshots to get all of it. Alright, let's move Trajan forward. Now there's there's slightly more plasma cannons and the like out there, so let's just keep our shield up front. Mm -hmm. Telesian over here. Well, look at that. That's um. That's interesting. And it's really fortunate that we saw him, otherwise he would have opened fire on poor Franconian down here. Well, might as well try and suppress it. And then perhaps even kill it. Yep. Gdirond, get to work. That's a miss. And can you open fire? Well, you could, but if you fail to kill it, you'll you'll be exposed. Maybe maybe someone else. Now that I think about it, I probably should have captured the officer. Uh, yeah, so forty-two. And we need 63 to get back. That's a hit, but unfortunately no kill. Okay, so maybe... I'll get over here. Nope, one more step. And how much to get back to here? 63. Yeah, you can do that. And down it goes. Alright. Now it seems this isn't all as safe as I thought it would be, so let's have Forgiven move to here. That should keep him out of harm's way. Trajan can stay up front, and the rest of the guys can just wait. You stay here. Finish, stay here. And everyone else has also finished their job. Right, you get to over here. So we still need to be careful as Reapers are still around, but as you can see we're mowing them down. That's one, two, three, four, five, six plus a zombie that we killed. And a in a space of a few turns, really. 
Alright, move out. Have a look. Isn't that cute? But it's wrong. Alright, let's just make sure there isn't another Reaper back here. Nope, clear. Very good. And we can hide inside. Like so. And just bring finish to over here. So something does show up, heal reaction fire. Shield reaction fire. Okay. So the cruiser, I think, is relatively straightforward to attack, but we first need to clear the side. So there are three doors to a cruiser. One is the main door, and there are these two side doors. So we should attempt to get rid of the side doors first. Alright, so I'm not sure why we see him but I'm not complaining. Gedirund. How about a pointless long-range shot? Now, this is an officer as well, so I think I'll capture him. And it is really pointless. We should, come, we should get closer before we try anything. How about to here? And gunman, join your friend. Alright, you can crouch and let's bring in Forgiven to... Maybe I'll push him forward as well, depending on how much of this is... I think this should be safe. I don't think he'll come out to attack us all the way to here. Even if he does, this is pretty far. I'm not even sure it, it's in effective range, so it's okay for me. And you two are fine. Finish is covering you. And Gunman and Gadiron are over here, so... Alright, so I need two additional rifles over on this side, and that is... And those two rifles are J-Can. send. Let's send Llama Horse. Get over here. Like so. Talesian, move to here. You'll move to the side. Exe, get over here. And Narwhal can also start moving over this way. Of course, she won't be able to fire immediately, but there's no rush. And back he goes. Okay, so if you just crouch, and let's see if... Hmm. I'm not entirely convinced that's a good idea. Right, let's have a look over this area. Chicken, off you go. So it looks alright. Uh, what did upstairs look like? Can we even get upstairs normally? Doesn't look like it. Nah, we can't even get upstairs. I mean, we could bust down one of the walls and then fly up, but... That seems pointless. 
Anyway, get back over here. Now, if there was, for example, a Reaper right here, and we have 8 move, that is just enough to stand up and just fly, and that's it, you're safe. It can't touch you. Okay, so let's bring the rest of our guys over. So let's start with Franconium. And I think we should have Finnish move back here to add to the firepower of our long range guys. Now, we are somewhat fortunate that the door is open. We usually have to open it ourselves, but you know, not complaining. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six more tiles. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's move to here. Should be alright. Like so. And our one over here. And gunman over here. So these guys are gonna provide long range fire support into this very long and narrow ship while the rest of the guys go around to the side doors. Now one thing to keep in mind, we will need someone to scout and that someone I think will probably be Franconian. He'll position himself here and then just use his... Or perhaps I should use a rest and just put him here and have a look. In any case, I'll figure, it, I'll figure it out. It doesn't really matter what method you use to scout, as long as it gets the job done. So I'll have a horse over here. And let's put... just a second. Alright. So, let's keep moving forward toward the side door. Now obviously there's still a lot of map over this way, which we will need to explore. But for now let's just slowly keep moving this way. And XZ over here. Now, you should be careful about flying, because obviously enemies can reaction fire even when you're, when you're off the ground, and it can result in some pretty messy situations if you're not careful. In this particular instance, we're covered by the UFO itself, but, you know, don't do it if you don't have to, or unless you're absolutely sure it's safe. Alright, so we are very near this door. Now, I don't want to come in too close as Reapers. So let's have Horesis move to here and then diagonally move to have a look inside. Now, diagonally, because in case something reaction fires. Well, alright, it seems whatever was out there pulled back, the officer has went way back, or perhaps went into one of the side doors, so I'm just gonna close this door, let me just have a look at something, if we were to fire, so this is 25, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 17 tiles, that's uh, 54, which means 43 remain. So let's move all the way up here. Right, now I can't move that far. And neither can Gadirund, now that Narwhal has taken that position. Well, alright. 
just close the door so we're not exposed. Alright, now let's have a look over this way. All clear, just to make sure. Good. Alright, I'll just stand over here. And let's bring in the other guys. So I'm almost certain they're within... So there are two doors here. One's on the inside, one's on the outside. And there's a small area on both sides. And enemies do like to stand there, so do be careful. This should be far enough. Okay, so do we want to close in or not? I'm not really a fan, let's just wait. To be honest, I'm not sure if these doors close automatically or not. Alright, so there's the officer. Now, I'd like... I'd only like to suppress it. I wouldn't want to kill it because I need it, obviously, for uh, for research. So let's start by using the weaker machine gun. Didn't work. Maybe the sniper can do something. No suppression. Now I'm somewhat worried that we're, that we're actually going to kill it. How far? 25. And you, 20. Get over here. And we'll move on this door. <coughs> Next turn. And forgiven over here. And Talesian over here. This should keep you all covered if something does peek out. Stand up. Alright, now we're on this side. Let's have a quick look, we're close enough. Nothing. Okay, so we can't get back, but we can just take off and hide. No, we can't. Alright, um, if you... How far can you throw a flashbang? Pretty far. So we just move over here. You know what, let's not risk it. Just shoot it. Still not suppressed. Impressive. Fine. Alright, so it should be safe to close in. As there doesn't appear to be anything over here. The rifle should keep us safe and we can close the door. And next turn these guys will move, will move on this door and then we can start moving in. I don't think there's anything in the back. So do we see the entire UFO yet? Yep, alright, let's take some screenshots. So remember, two Reapers are still unaccounted for. We either need to find their corpses or kill them. Looks clear. Have a look. Empty. I'm okay with that. Let's just have Trajan move into that direction. I think that will make a great screenshot, eventually. Okay, so the next part is moving into this door. 
Now obviously the problem is if there's a reaper right on the other side we may have a problem. So what I'd like to do is just get a bit closer first, make sure we're not in a position to get flanked. Alright, it looks like there's nothing back here. Oh. Yep, looks clear. Alright, get back here. And I'd like you to... to hmm. Should I close the door or not? I think I should. Like so, and then far enough away to reaction fire. Like so. And Horesus can just wait here. And we can bring in our troops to all the way to the door. The ballistics have actually proven themselves quite useful so far. Over on this side, close this and get back to, say, here. We don't want to stand too close as a Reaper may pop out. Okay, so no doors were opened this turn, which could really mean anything, but I'm going to take it as a good sign. Can we get back? Yeah. Get back. And you have a look. Okay, so this... all clear. I think it's safe to stand here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, it's fine. So just get over here and let's prepare to move to the teleporters. Close the door, get moving. So Horace is as part of this team and finish over here. In you go. Now obviously the newbies are somewhat slow. So we'll need to move basically at their speed in order to have everyone ready. Okay, so I think we need to rush the teleporter now. So he's turned away. We can take control of this. Yeah. All right. That's one. And can you reach us? Well, you'll be able to once you get some assistance. Let's get into position. This way, and you over here. The rifle 
over here. The other rifle here. And the sniper over here. So how far can you reach? Not far enough. Alright. So obviously these three are not going to be useful in the final assault, except for grenades and such. Narwhal doesn't even have grenades as the machine gun and the armor are really heavy and she's a bit struggling with all the weight. Now she's not weak, she can carry 29 kilos, in comparison Franconian can carry 30. But he can carry all this extra stuff because obviously he's wearing superior armor. Alright, let's have a look. Okay, so it has turned around. Now I think what we should do is bring someone over here and flashbang it. Let's have XZ do that. Because a flashbang won't make it turn around as far as I know. back to over here and Trajan then throws the next one and that should suppress it 43 or oh, just enough all right and I'll just walk up to it Obviously the civilians are tough, but that doesn't matter when you have this many minions. There we go. And now we just get back and prepare to move on to the next area next turn. Because there's really no need to rush this. There's absolutely no pressing nothing pressing us forward as it would be if we were facing um, seasons like so Next room. So that's a cannon and it's alone. Let's kill it. Alright, up you go. So if you move to here, will you be able to fire? Yep, that's good enough. Get out of the way. Pressed. and this looks like it's 18 I don't think any Reaper can come and hit us at this range so we'll just bring a rifle Let's say you to here and down it 
those and now we close the door and we can prepare to move on the next teleporter So I think this is the next device we want to capture. Can you get to here in one turn? Yeah. Alright, so this also appears to be clear. So let's take control of this teleporter. You can't reach, no problem. Franconian, get over here. Now, as you can see, we're wasting most of our move to do this. A newbie team, and such as these guys, couldn't really do this. This is why I think having veterans is vital, even though this gear is obviously excellent and it really helps out. But having the right man to do this is also important. Or women. XZ, get, get going. It is kind of boring though. You know. moving these soldiers across these distances with all of our opposition already dead is not particularly interesting, but what can you do? Okay, let's have a look to the next room. Alright, so we have a heavy rifle and I think this is the final room. So there's the last reaper. Now, hmm. I may have made a mistake moving inside. Let me think. Now, I think I should attempt to... Actually... Over here. Let me see. Let me just check something. Franconian. Or perhaps... Yeah, Franconian is probably best for this. Get over here. Move to here and tell me, can you hit this guy? Yes. Alright, that's bad. 
I was hoping this would cover us, but apparently not. Moving closer is just an invite to get a grenade in our face. So what I'd like to do is just step back and provoke it into reaction fire, hopefully. Oh, damn. 30, 86. I mean... Hmm. How about you? Get over here. You'll need someone to open the door for you. Yeah, this, this should do. This should do nicely. Alright. I'd like exit. Where are you? Get over here. Down to here. Open the door. And then step away. Now open fire. Missed. Alright, now you can pull back. And exit. Finish. How much do you need to get over here? You could actually open fire. Problem is, if you don't suppress it, it'll fire back, and that's not really something I'd like. So just get over here and reload. Door and get over here. Let's bring the rest of our guys upstairs. Actually, XZ is part of this group. hasn't fired a shot yet. I'd like to change that, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to. The reason I'd like to change that is just to level up his accuracy, as it's dependent on how many shots you take and not if you hit so this should be all right. All right, let's see if we can trigger some reaction fire. So I'm not entirely sure what this weapon is. It looks different than this one, though. If I were to guess, it's probably just a... You know, I'm not sure either of these is actually the leader. None of them have helmets. I'm killing both of them. So let's start by... Let's start by consuming some reaction fire. Give it a throw. And crouch. Oh. 
85 damage, all good. And you've wasted your reaction fire, so now we'll get to it. Suppress and finish, get to work. Suppressed. So, I need at least one of them dead right now. How do we do that? It's probably better to kill him. We could use grenades, though, I mean, come on, we should have more than enough firepower to take these guys down. Dirond, aim shot please. No, to double tap should suffice. <laughs> Missed, alright. Trajan, you're our backup, you're gonna throw a grenade if it comes to that. Exe, actually, let's try forgiven first. Very good. Get out of there. The lesion can't really help. Alright, Exe. Don't fail me. Down it goes. Alright, so now the question is... Do we take a risk? And there's really no need to do that. Let's just wait for it to fire and then next turn We'll finish it off. Come, you have a clear on the fire, right? Yeah. Let's have our guys move. Franconian can step here so that he's closer. And gunman over here. And give me an aim shot. Well, that's useful. Unfortunately, we no longer have any firepower available, but next turn he's, he's as good as dead. And we can probably even have Talesian take a shot to boost his accuracy. We did close the doors, right? Yeah. Alright. Oh! Uh -huh. Alright, so the shield broke, but the armor resisted anything that came through, so all good. Her rest is fine. And let's have Talesian Try to meh. You're just so slow, man. Alright, get over here. Actually, let's first try and make sure that he can actually. Alright, that's good enough for me. So get over here and take a shot. This is just to boost his accuracy and nothing else. Alright, who hasn't fired yet? Anyone? You all fired. Alright, finish. Get a move on. And that's it. We're done. This is Distinguished Service Medal.
All right.